messed it up. <laughs> You're stupid. All right, today's Daily Dose of Stupid, and it looks like we have a phone call, so we'll get to that right after the Daily Dose of Stupid. Um, I did I did think that this was actually pretty hilarious. Um, we've got a clip here of the witches having a real problem with Trump. And no, you did not hear me incorrectly. There are witches, and I'm talking actual witches, that have a problem with Donald Trump. Take a listen. Are you a witch? I'm a practicing witch. That's how I make my living, yes. And which kind of witch are you? Uh, I'm initiated into Wicca, which is the religious side of things. Witches tend to side with liberals. And you know what they wish President Trump would stop saying about the Mueller investigation? It's a witch hunt. That's all it is. The witch hunt, as I call it. Russian witch hunt. This is a witch hunt like nobody's ever seen before. The author of witchcraft activism calls the president's use of the term. Really disgraceful. I mean, thousands of people were executed in Europe on suspicion of witchcraft. Closer to home, there were the Salem witch trials. I saw Bridget Bishop with the devil. Nineteen supposed witches were hanged. There's a lot to be offended by by Donald Trump, and I think you, his use of the term witch hunt is is very low on that list of priorities for most witches. But nevertheless, it does demonstrate his ignorance as usual. Uh, so apparently this is the big problem with Donald Trump. The witches are offended and he shouldn't be using the word witch hunt because it's offending the witches and the witches are triggered by it. Now, I'm going to be honest about this. A lot of people were saying that CNN is upset about this. I kind of saw this segment as being tongue in cheek and just something that's kind of goofy and interesting. I don't think this is necessarily the view of CNN. I think it's just something kind of funny that they decided to do because even the reporter there is doing it a little bit tongue in cheek. And so it's just kind of silly and ridiculous. Now I do think it's fair to say as as some people have probably pointed out before me, I, I think that this is an original thought, but maybe someone else has gotten to the point before I did. Would they have done this with Obama? No. If there were a bunch of witches that had issues with president Obama, they wouldn't have covered it. So it is fair to say that there's at least somewhat of a double standard, but I do think this is just a sort of a, a ridiculous, silly one. Because I don't think CNN is actually taking this either. Uh, I would point out that the one lady says, yes, I am a witch. I, that's how I make my living. How do you make a living as a witch? Are you like out selling voodoo dolls out of your van? Like, how does that, how does that work? I don't really understand how she's making her living being a witch. But nonetheless, um, here's the thing. I don't understand why they're upset because he's actually using the term correctly. Because you just heard, and, and they were talking about it in that CNN report, that there were actual witches that were hanged on suspicion of being a witch. And when I say witch, of course, I don't you know, actually believe in it, but there are people that attempt practicing witchcraft. But there are people that were actually hanged on accusations of being a witch. But the way that Donald Trump is using it, he's acknowledging that that was wrong and that it's also wrong to come after him because he's not a witch. It's also wrong to come after him because he didn't really collude with Russia. And so in the way that he's using that term, it really shouldn't be offensive to witches. If anything, it should sound like the president is vindicating them of wrongdoing in the past when witches were persecuted against. And so I really don't understand what they're upset about. If anything, this is kind of a compliment to him that President Trump is saying, look, I'm innocent and I believe that I'm innocent and I don't think that there's anything here. And just like there wasn't anything here with me, there wasn't anything there when the witches were being accused and, and wound up getting hanged for being witches. And so that's what's so hilarious about that is if you're looking at the way that he's using the phrase in the context in which he's using it, actually, if anything, it ought to be considered flattering that the president is using the term witch hunt. But I guess that you can't expect that somebody that believes that they can actually perform witchcraft to be somebody that's much of a logical thinker. So I think that that's kind of a moot point at that, that time. But um, like most things, I think that they're just looking for one more thing to nitpick. All right. It looks like we have somebody on the phones. Good morning. What's your name? Hey, good morning. It's John. Hey, yeah. So what's on your mind this morning? Just wanted to point out that I think secretly the media, which by all that that study such things agree that the liberal the media is liberal, and sure. I think secretly that they actually love having Trump in the White House with regard to their job because it gives them so much to do and it's so much fun for them to do that. 
Well, it certainly helps their ratings, so I think they're cl- they're glad about that, if nothing else. I mean, you're looking at the ratings of MSNBC and CNN before Donald Trump was elected, and they were uh, pretty lackluster, and they've gone up considerably since Trump has been in office. That's what I mean, I, it, it, because they salivated over him when he was running. Oh, absolutely. And they couldn't. he couldn't go anywhere, couldn't say anything. It didn't make any difference what it was. Uh, he didn't have to spend that much on his campaign because it was all free oh yeah i mean he was continually in the news every day all day long because he was running and he didn't have to spend nearly as much as i've forgotten you you know the figures probably but he didn't have well as much as as hillary did i I did back in the campaign but i've long since forgotten a lot of those figures (laughs) but yeah uh, i mean it's been a couple years now and it feels like an eternity so i don't have those figures off the top of my head but it was a considerable amount a free advertising that he got that none of his opponents, including Hillary Clinton, got. Now, granted, most of it was negative, but the point is his name got out there an awful lot. Sure. And another thing, too, I think the best commentary that I heard on that, and to your point, and this is a little bit crass, but I think it gets the point across. Uh, I, there was, um, I cannot remember which commentator said this, because like I said, it's been a couple years now, but they said the media and Trump are like a couple that talk about how much they hate each other until eventually at the end of the movie, they wind up having angry sex. And, you know, even though that is a little bit crass, it does kind of get the point across that they sort of have this odd love hate relationship with one another. They talk about how much they despise one another and yet they kind of need each other and they sort of thrive off of the conflict. You know, you really should like this video and subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel. What's that? Oh, you want to know what the content's going to be? You want to know what's in it? No, no, no. It's like Obamacare. So you got to subscribe to find out what's in it.